up you guys so today i'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how andreas hem does this like city block transition so yeah let's get started with the tutorial okay so you're going to want to have a clip that is at night obviously with a city and kind of have like a black background i guess so you don't really want to have like a city that's really bright the building kind of needs to be a little bit darker i guess so you don't want any billboards and stuff around. Okay, so I have my clip right here of the Empire State Building. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid. So we can go to Layer and then press New Solid. And then make sure you have it on a black solid. And then press OK and now we have a new solid. But I'm going to turn the eye off of this. And then I'm going to hold on that clip and then press the Pen tool. And then create a little shape to cover up that first line of rooms, I guess, on the left. Okay, so I used the pen tool and created this little shape and now I'm going to go to the solid and press M for mask. Okay, so now we're going to create a mask path. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the keyframe button from where we started that mask shape, I guess. And we're going to go barely any frames forward. We're going to go like one frame forward. And then we're going to just drag that all the way to the bottom so that it gets out of the way. So now if we watch it back, it sort of disappears very fast. So basically you can play around with all the different shapes and where you want it to move and the mask paths and everything. So I'm going to show you some more examples. But one way you can also duplicate this and make this process a little bit faster is if we just go to our solid and then we press Command D to duplicate it. Okay, so now we have two solids and then I'm just going to drag this to the right so I want the same effect to happen on a different uh, column of the building. So I'm just going to adjust the mask shape and size to match the th fourth column okay so now if we watch it back both of them are sort of dancing along at the same time um and you can kind of offset it so that the second one starts a little bit later but you basically want it to go really fast so that you can't really see the shape of it i guess okay so why don't we also make another new solid so i'm going to go to layer a new solid and have it black again and then i'm going to press the eye off so we don't see it and then I'm going to go to the pen tool and make sure I'm holding on to that black solid and create a little small little rectangle but I'm going to do this in a little bit after the clip starts and yeah I created a new shape and then I'm going to go one frame forward and just adjust that shape to go uh, all the way down okay so this isn't okay so let me just spread out the keyframes a bit so you can see this a little bit better Okay, so in the beginning, it sort of appears up, but we're going to need this to disappear again. So we're going to go two frames forward. So I'm just going to command C to copy that first keyframe where it's basically on the bottom and then just drag it two frames after the second keyframe. So now it appears up and then goes back down very fast. So basically, you can do this with all your different solids and create a bunch of different solids to create a cool little dancing animation, I guess. So yeah. What you can also do is feather these clips, so I'm just going to go to my last solid and then I'm going to press M for mask and then press the drop down and just feather it until I think it looks good. So 12 looks pretty good, so I can just see that some of the edges are being feathered, but it goes really fast so you can't really see it anyways. But I'm just going to feather the other clips as well. Okay, so because you can kind of see that solid, this is why you're going to need some color grading and usually color grading uh, fixes the trick because you it sort of all blends together and even just putting a lot on it makes it look better so you can also bring up the contrast if you want to like look at that it really makes it disappear but I don't really like the look of that so I'm just gonna put a lot on and this is the Osiris M31 LUT so yeah that's now looking a little bit better but you can still kind of see some of the solids. So what you can also do is just copy that Lumetri color that you added to that new adjustment layer and then just paste it on all three clips. And you can copy it by pressing Command C on the adjustment layer and then go to the black solid and press Command V and go to the other black solids as well and press Command V. And now that Lumetri color is on all three clips and it's kind of doubled. So for the solid, it has two layers of the LUT. So yeah, I guess it makes it blend a little bit better. So yeah, if we watch it back nicely blended and if you just keep doing this, you can create some really good stuff and match it to the beat of the music, I guess. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.